Hi there, how the sense of God is Prophet Pastor Dan. I greet you. I tell them Prophet Pastor, I'm a modern day prophet. I'm a modern day prophet. Modern day prophet will talk about the things of the day, the things of the day that we need to address. We'll address those things of the day. Today I'll be doing a short visit, visit to talk about Kamala Harris. Kamala Harris in the US. The new um, running mate of Joe Biden. What the Lord is showing me about Kamala Harris, what's going to happen because of her. He shot video just to show you in the prophetic what is happening. I told you, I'm a modern day prophet. Modern day prophets will talk about the things of the day. We talk about what God is saying now concerning the things that are happening now. That's what modern day prophecy is. I'm a modern day prophet. So I see that Kamala Harris in the realm of the spirit. The Lord is telling me, tell my people. I see her in the realm of the spirit. What is going to happen? I told you. This 2020 election is a serious election in the U.S. because there's a temple that needs to be built. The walls of the temple that Solomon built in Israel needs to be built. They need to start erecting that temple. And this election in the U.S. has got an impact on what God is showing me concerning that temple. That's why we need to pray for this election in the U.S. I gave a prophecy about the election in the U.S. If you check my videos on YouTube, numerous prophecies about Donald Trump, about the election, about Joe Biden. I even gave a prophecy about the impeachment of Donald Trump. I prophesied it. The impeachment. I prophesied about the election in the UK. It was 100% accurate. I prophesied about the election that the election that was held with Bo uh, uh, Boris won. It's this election in, in the US and what was going to happen, including even including the, the people that are going to support Donald Trump. I prophesied it. You must check those videos. The numerous prophecies have been given since 2019. Early 2019, I've been given the prophecy and I said, we should watch out for this election. Even the racial tension in the US, I prophesied the racial tension. Those of you that want to get my anointed beats, get this anointed beats. It's a powerful anointed beats. I just received a testimony from a woman. The woman gave a powerful testimony. She spoke about how her husband was, was carried to the hospital. She, her husband could not breathe. And when they tested the husband, they said, this man, this man has got COVID-19. They said, the man has got COVID-19. The woman called me. Call me crying and he says, Man of God, what must I do? I ask a woman, Do you have this anointed beast? She says, Yes, I have the anointed beast. I told her, Take your anointed beast, put it inside the, put it inside the hand, let the man wear this anointed beast. Let him go to the hospital. That man had diabetes, he had high blood pressure, he had all kinds of sicknesses, he had cancer. He, I mean, the doctors were saying, This man is too, the man is too old, he, could not, so he will not survive. And let me tell you something. A few days later, she wrote to me, said, Man of God, my husband is completely healed, completely free from COVID 19. After all these bitches, even the doctors, the doctors told her, they said, we don't know how this man survived this COVID-19 because it's like a miracle. We don't understand how he survived. She told the doctor, this is coming from God. The doctor says, this is not a mock man. This is something supernatural because we don't understand how he survived. The mother is very old, about 70 years old, has got cancer, has got high blood pressure, has got diabetes, has got all the sicknesses. Every day. say, if you have that sickness, you will not survive. Could not breathe, had COVID 19. Wait, what is anointed beats? The woman wrote to me, celebrating. Let me tell you, there's a man that wrote to me, this anointed beats. What is anointed beats? This country was promoted, it was like a governor managing big contracts. He wrote to me, showed me the contracts, this man of God. Now I'm sitting in a position of power in my country. A position of power. One boy has been sentenced to, to years imprisonment. He went over the first court hearing. They adjourned the case. They went for the final court hearing. There were three of them. Two of them were locked up in prison. He's the only one that was that was not locked up. And I was wearing this anointed being called. The judge said, We could not find your case. When my daughter wrote to my one of my daughter in the US, what this anointed beat. I'm telling you, went to went inside um the US to apply for a green card. And the green card that they have not given her, she went there, she said, Listen, I've waited for my green card. Where's my green card? And they called after one week. They said, come and take your green card. The green card is issued. And this woman is writing to me. I'm saying to me, man of God, if I can only get this green card, my life will change because I've been suffering in the U.S. without the green card. Some of you need to get it. Permits, green cards. Some people to start businesses. Those of you that are starting businesses, you're looking for what customers or whatever. Wait, it's a bit. Let me tell you, when I pray for it, I agree with you. I agree what is going to happen. I pray for it. It's my anointed bit that way. I give you my personal anointed bit and I give it to you. I'm the only man of God that's doing that. The eye of the scorpion. I'm the only man of God in the whole world that I take my own personal anointing, I take it out of my body and I give it to you. 
That's what the Bible says with Paul and Peter. It says when Paul and Peter were walking, handkerchief and aprons were taken from the body of Paul. Things were taken from their body and were put placed on the sick. Remember, so when they were placed on the sick, the sick became healed. This is not a joking matter. And this anointed bit is not for everybody. The people that have got small problems, just pray for you, pray for you. But that this anointed bit is people that are going through troubles. Troubles. All you wrote to me says, man, I'll go my husband and stand from the house. Matter of fact, my husband is even planning to marry another woman. I gave him this anointed bit. For the first time, the husband came to sleep with her in the house. And she said, man of God, I've never ever seen this. He says, this man is now sleeping with me on the same, in the same house. This man that left me many, many years ago. The man was saying, he's not coming back. But now I was sleeping. I'm going to talk about Kamala Harris. What God is showing my Kamala Harris? People talk about Kamala Harris, Kam Kamala Harris, Kamala Harris. What, what, what? They're making a lot of noise. I give a prophecy. I see this woman. He doesn't like God. She doesn't like God. I think so, God. And people are saying this. And let me tell you. What is going to happen because of Kamala Harris? Even people that wanted to vote for Joe Biden will not vote for Joe Biden. And the only reason they selected Kamala Harris was because of the color of her skin. Because she's 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 a woman of color. That's the only reason. And it's like it's like it's, she's been used to buy to buy black vote, to buy black people to vote, to buy black to vote for Joe, for, for for Joe Biden. But she doesn't like God. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. I've seen the realm of the spirit. Those people, those evil people, the moment they get into power, they're going to make sure they silence all the churches in America. That's why the church needs to rise up and raise their voices and pray because I see this election, Donald Trump is going to win. I said Donald Trump is going to win. I said it's not only going to win, going to win in a landslide, meaning that towards the days of the election, people that we hated Donald Trump will vote for Donald Trump. And people are saying he selected a woman because of his color. Let me tell you something. Because of his own color, the black people will not vote for her. They, 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 what they are expecting to get, they are going to get the opposite. Meaning, if they were selecting her because they wanted black people to vote for, for Donald Trump, for, for, for Joe Biden, they wanted black people to vote, it would, be, it, would turn against, it would turn against them. It would turn against them. The Bible says in the days of when Moses came in front of Pharaoh, the Bible says Moses took his snake and his snake, when the snake fell down, that snake became a stick in front of Pharaoh. Pharaoh was shocked. The Bible says Pharaoh also called his own magicians. And if they are magicians, all the magicians throw their own stick on the ground, their sticks also became snakes. The Bible says, but something happened. It says, but the snake of Moses swallowed the snakes of all the magicians. The snakes of Moses swallowed the snakes of all the magicians. One snake swallowed hundreds of other snakes. That's what is going to happen. So when you see Joe Biden is bringing Kamala Harris, it's like they're the snakes of the magicians. Those are their own snakes of the magicians. They're not ordained by God. Joe Biden has not been ordained by God. God did not call him. I didn't see God calling him the spirit. But I see God put Donald Trump there and says, I want my son to be there. So that we, that's why I see Donald Trump. Let me tell you something. The reason they hate Donald Trump is because he stands for Christianity. He stands for the church and he's not backing down for the church. If you don't back down, Satan doesn't like you. If Donald Trump did not stand for Christianity, if Donald Trump was a man that did not stand for Christianity, did not stand for the church, did not stand for, for freedom of worship, they would like him. The only reason why they hate him is because he is backing Christians. And because they hate Christians, they hate the God in him, they will hate him. And they will hate the church. Because of the God. That's why I said Donald Trump, he carried that Bible. When they lifted that Bible up, Donald Trump, that Bible was a sign to show the world, I'm going to stand for this God. People say whatever, say whatever. Let me tell you something. God can use anybody. If God can use a stick, a, a rod in the hands of Moses, a dry rod, what is Donald Trump that can use? He can use Donald Trump to advance the kingdom of God. I'm telling you, I see Donald Trump is going to win. And those of you that are in the U.S., my sons and daughters in the U.S., make sure you vote and you vote and you tell your family members to vote because this election in the U.S., we need to vote for election in a way that will be a landslide victory because I will see landslide. A lot will serve me landslide. Landslide victory. So Kamala Harris, I see Kamala Harris instead of making blacks to run away from voting for Joe Biden. They will instead run away. Meaning the thing that they put to attract is like a magnet. There's a side in the magnet that attracts. There's another side that 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 that, that, that retracts, that, that pushes things away. If you put magnets in the opposite side, the two negative side, they will run away. If you put magnets in the positive and negative side, they will attract. This Kamala Harris appointment is like a magnet that makes things to, to, to separate. 
and because the kingdom of god is marching on the church is marching on the u.s never be afraid never be ashamed of the gospel never be ashamed the world needs to see a miracle on next show night a miracle i see a miracle on the election night where they will say they don't know what happened but we see this man winning we thought he was not going to win but we see donald trump winning celebrated on election night going to pray god is doing something i want to pray for you I pray for my son, Kenuta, I see you, my son, Kenuta, I pray for me, you know my son, I pray for Shamfret, write to me, WhatsApp me, it's my WhatsApp, WhatsApp, thousands of sons of daughters, I see Stephen, I see Erod, how are you, Erod, I see B. Sang, my daughter, yes, I see Bill, I see Elizabeth, how are you, Elizabeth, Julie, I'm seeing your message, I'm seeing your message, Julie, I'm seeing your message, yes, my God, mercy, yes, yes, Chine, do I see you, how are you, my son in Nigeria, Octavia, my daughter in the UK, there are thousands of them, thousands of them, I'm the only man of God. Where you see, as I'm sitting, I receive thousands, thousands of messages every day. Calls, WhatsApp me, email me, prophetpastor at gmail.com, WhatsApp me, I'm going to respond to you. If you see Grace, how are you, Grace? Siva, my daughter, how are you? How are you, my daughter? Yes, yes, Joshua, how are you? I see you, Millie, Jolie, Jolie, how are you? Yes, yes, Asha, how are you, Asha? Yes, Tammy, I see you, T, you see you, Rona, yes, Ella, my daughter in the US. Rona, my daughter in the US. Krista, how are you? Tony, how are you? Tony, I see you. God is doing something. Manson, Abel, Abel, God bless you. Henry, God bless you. Yes, I pray for the name of Jesus. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord increase you. May the Lord multiply you. May the Lord comfort you and give you peace. May the Lord restore everything that has been taken for you, from you. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen.